It's common knowledge that the food we eat today doesn't provide our bodies with the full range of nutrients we truly need, that's why so many people turn to supplements to fill that nutritional gap and support their overall health. But here's the thing, if your kidneys are weak or your kidney function is already reduced, taking just any supplement could do more harm than good. Some supplements can trigger dangerous reactions in the body, reactions that can silently worsen kidney damage, raise creatinine, or in severe cases even lead to life-threatening complications. That's why in today's video we're going to talk about 5 common supplements you should absolutely avoid if you have weak kidneys, because while they may seem harmless or even healthy, they can actually put serious strain on your kidneys. But before we get started, please take a second to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps this video reach more people who might be unknowingly damaging their kidneys with the wrong supplements. Without further ado, let's get started. 1. Creatine while creatine is great for maintaining muscle mass and improving performance during high-intensity exercise, it's one of those supplements that people with weak kidneys or reduced kidney function should avoid. The reason lies in how creatine is processed by the body. When you take creatine, part of it naturally converts into creatinine, a waste product that your kidneys are responsible for filtering out. This conversion increases the amount of creatine in your blood, and, since creatine in levels are the main marker doctors use to assess kidney health, this can make it look as though your kidney function is declining, even if it's not. However, the concern goes beyond just confusing lab results. For people who already have compromised kidneys, this extra load of creatinine can actually worsen kidney stress. The kidneys have to work harder to eliminate the additional waste, and over time, this can accelerate damage, particularly if the person is dehydrated, taking other medications that affect kidney function, or already has elevated creatinine or urea levels. There have even been case reports where people with pre-existing kidney conditions experienced elevated creatinine and declining renal function after starting creatine supplements, and their kidney readings improved once they stopped taking it. While these cases don't prove that creatine directly causes kidney failure, they highlight that a weakened kidney may not handle the extra burden as efficiently as a healthy one. 2. High-dose vitamin C while vitamin C is often praised for its powerful immune-boosting and antioxidant benefits, taking it in high doses can be dangerous for people with weak kidneys or reduced kidney function. This is one of those supplements that seems completely harmless. After all, it's just vitamin C, right? But in the context of kidney health, the story is very different. When you consume vitamin C, your body uses what it needs and then breaks down the excess into a compound called oxalate. This oxalate is supposed to be filtered out by your kidneys and excreted in your urine. However, when the kidneys are already weak, they may not be able to remove oxalate efficiently. Over time, oxalate can combine with calcium to form calcium oxalate crystals, which are the main component of kidney stones. These crystals can accumulate and cause severe pain, block urine flow, and further damage kidney tissue. Scientific studies have repeatedly shown this link. Research published in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases and the New England Journal of Medicine found that high doses of vitamin C significantly increase urinary oxalate levels, especially in individuals with kidney impairment. Even doses as low as 1,000 mg per day, which is common in many over-the-counter supplements, can raise oxalate levels beyond what the kidneys can safely handle. 3. Fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, K, in high doses. While fat-soluble vitamins like A, D, E, and K are all essential for good health, taking them in high doses can be risky, especially for people with weak kidneys. Unlike water-soluble vitamins, which the body can easily flush out through urine, fat-soluble vitamins are stored in the liver and fatty tissues, meaning excess amounts can build up over time. For someone with reduced kidney function, this accumulation can become dangerous, as the kidneys and liver work closely together to maintain balance and eliminate toxins. Now, let's talk about vitamin D, which is a bit of a special case. Vitamin D plays a crucial role in calcium and phosphorus balance, both of which are heavily regulated by the kidneys. In people with weak kidneys, improper use of vitamin D supplements can lead to dangerous calcium buildup in the blood and blood vessels, known as vascular calcification. This not only worsens kidney function, but also increases the risk of heart disease, a common complication in chronic kidney disease. However, when used correctly and under supervision, vitamin D can actually be beneficial for kidney patients. The key is to take it in the right dose and always alongside vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 helps direct calcium to the bones instead of the arteries, preventing the calcification problems that high-dose vitamin D alone can cause. That's why for people with kidney problems, vitamin D should never be self-prescribed. 
a qualified healthcare provider should first check blood levels of vitamin D, calcium, and phosphorus to determine whether supplementation is necessary, and if so, what form and dosage are safe. 4. Protein powders and amino acid supplements. While protein powders and amino acid supplements have become incredibly popular among athletes, bodybuilders, and even people trying to maintain muscle as they age, they can be harmful for those with weak kidneys or reduce kidney function. Protein is essential. It helps build and repair tissues, supports hormones, and strengthens the immune system. But when your kidneys are not working at full capacity, too much protein can become a serious problem. What happens is when you consume protein, your body breaks it down into amino acids, which are then used for various vital functions. However, this process also produces nitrogenous waste products such as urea and creatinine, which must be filtered out of the blood by your kidneys. If your kidneys are already weak, they may struggle to clear these waste products efficiently. Over time, this can lead to a buildup of toxins in the bloodstream, making you feel fatigued, nauseous, and in more serious cases, worsening kidney damage. The problem is even more pronounced with protein powders and amino acid supplements, especially those derived from whey, casein, or soy isolates. These forms are highly concentrated and rapidly absorbed, causing a sudden increase in metabolic waste that the kidneys must process. This can strain weakened kidneys and increase glomerular pressure, the force of blood flow through the tiny filtering units of the kidneys. Over time, this pressure damages those filters, leading to further loss of kidney function. It's also worth mentioning that many commercial protein powders contain additives, artificial sweeteners, or heavy metals such as lead, arsenic, and cadmium, all of which can worsen kidney damage when consumed regularly. These contaminants combined with a high protein load create a toxic combination for an already overworked renal system. 5. High-dose potassium calcium or magnesium. Unlike healthy kidneys, which can easily balance electrolytes by filtering out any excess, weakened kidneys struggle to keep these minerals within safe limits, and when their levels get too high, the consequences can be severe, sometimes even life-threatening. Let's start with potassium, which is often the most concerning for people with kidney problems. Potassium plays a crucial role in regulating your heartbeat and muscle contractions, but when your kidneys can't remove the excess, it starts to build up in your blood, a condition known as hyperkalemia. High potassium levels can interfere with the electrical signals that control your heart, leading to dangerous arrhythmias and, in severe cases, cardiac arrest. This is why doctors are extremely cautious about potassium supplements in people with chronic kidney disease. In fact, most over-the-counter potassium supplements are capped at just 99 milligrams per tablet. That's a tiny fraction of your daily requirement, precisely to prevent accidental overdose and heart complications. Next is calcium, another mineral that can pose a problem when taken in high doses. Calcium is vital for strong bones, teeth, and nerve signaling. But excessive calcium, especially from supplements, can lead to a condition called hypercalcemia, or too much calcium in the blood. This is particularly risky for people with impaired kidney function because their bodies can't properly eliminate the excess. High calcium levels can cause kidney stones, vascular calcification, and even kidney tissue damage, which can further worsen kidney function. As for magnesium, it plays an essential role in muscle relaxation, blood pressure control, and energy production, and mild supplementation can actually be beneficial in the early stages of kidney disease. In stages 1 to 3, CKD, low-dose magnesium supplements, taken below the standard recommended daily amount and with regular monitoring, are generally considered safe. In fact, magnesium deficiency is quite common in early kidney disease, and correcting it may help with blood pressure regulation and inflammation. However, once kidney disease progresses to stages 4 and 5, the situation changes drastically. At those advanced stages, the kidneys lose their ability to eliminate magnesium efficiently, leading to magnesium buildup in the blood, known as hypermagnesemia. High magnesium levels can cause muscle weakness, dangerously low blood pressure, slowed breathing and even cardiac arrest, very similar to the risks seen with high potassium. That's why magnesium supplementation at this stage should only be done under strict medical supervision, with frequent blood tests to monitor magnesium levels. Even magnesium-containing antacids or laxatives can pose a serious risk for people in stage 4 or 5 CKD and are often completely avoided. Now this doesn't mean you should avoid all supplements. Some nutrients are actually protective for your kidneys. For example, omega-3 fatty acids help reduce inflammation and protect kidney tissue. 
vitamin B complex, especially B6 and B12, support energy and toxin breakdown safely. CoQ10 has been shown in studies to improve kidney function and reduce oxidative stress, and of course hydration and a diet rich in green leafy vegetables, cruciferous veggies like broccoli and cabbage, and healthy fats like olive oil can do wonders for your kidneys naturally. And if you suspect you have kidney issues or have been diagnosed with chronic kidney disease, please don't self-diagnose or self-supplement. It's always wise to consult your primary care provider. They can help determine what's truly safe for your condition and what could silently cause harm. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with someone who might be unknowingly making these mistakes. It could literally help save a life. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.